What's up everybody? Uh, today I'm going to make a video about sprints and what some of the best techniques are and some of the best ways to get better at doing sprints. Uh, in the past I made some how-to videos for gate starts. You can check those out right there uh, and you guys really liked them. So today we're going to be doing one about sprints. Now sprints are really important. They're the best training that you can do off the track. Um, and I personally do them two or three times a week. Max is here to help me out. Max, how many times a week do you do sprints? Same as you, two or three times. Two or three times a week. And uh, so today we're just going to give you some tips and tricks on how to be better or how to get better at just the basic sprint. So there's a couple different ways that you can do your sprints. You can do them rolling, like you roll in down a hill and you sprint down the hill, or you can do them from a stand start. Now I personally like doing the stand start sprints because that's what we do on the track. And the whole idea of sprint training is to make you better at the track. So today I'm gonna to be using my sprint block, uh, which is a training device that my coach developed to help with sprints. It's really nice because it's adjustable. You can make it however tall or short you want it. And it's got a slide mechanism that helps you mimic the same movement that you have on a gate start. So I'm gonna get up on the sprint block and I'm gonna have Max walk you guys through how to set up properly for a sprint. All right, so Max, first question. When you're doing the sprint, which foot should you start with? The same foot that you do your gate with. The same foot that you do your gate with. Now remember, sprint training is just a way to get better down the first straight. So you're gonna set up with the same foot in front that you're gonna do on the gate. Okay, so I'm here. What's, it important, what's important when I'm in this position right here to make sure that I'm doing? You've gotta be straight. Straight with where you wanna sprint, and straight with your bike, so okay. like that. So I want to make sure that I'm nice and straight. Max, now do I try to do I try to wheelie out of the gate like I would in a BMX track? No, you want to just come out straight and fast. Straight and fast. Okay. So am I going to be back like this? No, you pretty much want to make a line from your seat straight up, and you want to have your pelvis just above your seat. So the power position, like this. That's okay. the power position. What am I doing with my hands? Straight, straight, all the way down. You want to be able to put a rule. No, not your elbows, your hands and your wrists straight. So you want to be able to put a ruler on there and have them in that perfect straight position, not over and not under. Got it. All right. I'm going to slide break in those elbows. All right, Max. So I'm getting ready to do my sprint. How far should I go? It depends on what you want to do. So if you want to just practice the first couple of pedals, you can do the first couple of pedals. Or if you want to go long, you can drag them out and as long as you need to. Okay. And should I always go short or always go long, or should I mix it up sometimes short and sometimes long? You gotta mix it up, your body adapts. If you just, you know, if you do a 12 crank sprint every day on your race gearing, you're gonna be good at 12 crank sprints on your race gearing. So you gotta be- So changing up's a good idea. Changing everything up, your, your distance, your length, uphill, downhill, whatever you wanna do. Got it, all right, cool. And uh, just so you guys know, you can find some sample sprint workouts on the sprintblock.com website. Okay, so, I'm here, I'm getting ready to go. So he came out and he lifted his, the first, the first movement he did was lifted his head and that's like what a lot of people do because they, they want to get their hips to the bars and you come up and you just you do a big wheelie and there's no power coming through. You want to move as one, your head, your hips, your body and your arms back and you just want to flow all the way forward as much as you can. So it wants to be one motion. Now you want to get back into your power position. There we go and you want to just flow out. So you want everything, this whole, your midsection just to roll forward as one. There we go. One of the most important things to remember when you're doing sprints is don't try to kill your pedals. Don't be all over the show, moving around, going crazy. You want to be smooth. Smooth is fast. So you want to be focusing on one crank at a time, driving, 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 and driving, moving forward as fast as you can. Uh, if you can, sprint with people. In training, we love to sprint with people. We always line two, three, four, however many people we have up and we just do sprint races because it's the same thing that you're doing in the gate start. So remember guys, a couple key points. Sprinting is important. Doing your sprints will make you faster on the track, but do them properly. Be smooth. 
Be efficient, stand in that power position, keep your wrists in a straight line, and lastly, make sure you have the right equipment to make sure that you're getting the most out of your training. So, uh, if you wanna see some more samples of some sprint videos and some sprint workouts and some other ideas, check out sprintblock.com. Um, Max Cairns, Connor Fields here. It's time for us to do some sprints. Oh,